how to address amazon restricted product policy violations as in my past couple of videos i have explained you in detail like there are some categories on amazon in which amazon don't allow you to sell for some reasons and for some category you can just apply with some documents to get the approval to sell in that particular category but for some category amazon won't allow you to sell your products and the reason behind amazon don't allow you to sell in that particular category is because these categories are dangerous for example there are some categories in which there are some product having expiry date so for some of the category like this you need approval but i have seen that in many of the cases people don't know about these restrictions and they are actually not aware about the fact that the category in which they are going to sell their product requires approval and they just list their product in the category start selling that product in that category and after selling for one or two weeks they get the policy violation notice from amazon and the email of that notice is very dangerous like usually in that email amazon say that they have removed your listing from the amazon product catalog and that actually make your amazon account health very poor so in this video i'm going to show you step by step like what amazon restricted policy violation is and if you get that notice from amazon then how to act like how you can address that policy violation so your account health can be better again and you can start selling on amazon easily so all the information step by step you will get in this video so keep on watching this video till the end because this video is going to be super super helpful for you so as you can see that this is my one week sales and if i put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales you can see that throughout the year i got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in december which was christmas season so around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the ppc spend was very less for the lifetime so basically i don't do any magic i only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which i've already explained you in these videos so if you also want to learn all of those tips tricks and strategies you can just go on my amazon playlist on youtube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this all right guys so as you can see here i'm on my laptop right now and here i have just opened a page from amazon website in which we can see all of the rules and regulations about amazon restricted products like what we can do what we cannot do and what we can sell and what we cannot sell and then down in the same page amazon is explaining us like if we start selling our product in that category without getting any approval so what will happen to our listing and what will happen to our account so let's just first read like if we violate any policy so what will happen to us so in that paragraph you can see that if you supply a product in violation of the law or any of the amazon policy including those listed on restricted product pages so amazon can actually destroy your inventory remove your listing and can actually take legal action against you or amazon can actually ban your account for lifetime as well so that is the reason i always say every seller that before start selling any product they must have to check like the category in which they are going to sell their product is actually allowed by amazon or not and if not then they can actually gather the documents and apply for the approval because once amazon approve you or allow you to sell your product in that particular category then you are good to go you will not get any problem you will not get any trouble and you can actually sell your product easily so as you guys already know that if you start selling your products into restricted category without any approval so these are the thing that can happen with you so now let's discuss like if you violate this kind of amazon policy then how to address that policy so for that you need to go on amazon seller central and from there on the top left bar you need to go on performance and there you can see two tabs account health and performance notification so you can just open these two tabs one by one so here you can see that this is account health page and the second page i have just opened is performance notification so right now you can see that in this account my account health is very good and i have not violated any policy so if i go down on this page i can see 00 on all the policy violation pages so in case if you violate any amazon policy for the product category first of all you will get the email and if you somehow miss that email so you can just simply go on this account health page and go down and in this policy compliance tab you need to check all of the policy you can see that all of the policy are having zero violation but if in your case if you are having any of the violation here so you will be able to see this number one or two so you will be able to know like in this category or in this particular policy violation i am having two warnings so as you can see here above on this page my account is healthy and my account health is green but if in your case you are having some policy violation in this tab so your account health will be poor or bad and this will turn from green to yellow or even red if your account will be near to suspension so in that case if you find any of the violation from here or in a second page which is performance notification so you need to basically address that policy violation and submit an appeal to 
Amazon. Like before listing your product into that category, you were not aware about this fact that this category is restricted on Amazon. So now either you can stop selling that product on Amazon or you can submit your document to Amazon to get the approval to sell that particular product in that category. So you can submit your appeal or address that policy violation from these two pages. Number one is performance notification. You can see that this page on my account is empty, but if you're having any policy violation, so you'll be able to see an error here. And right after that error, you will be able to see a button called appeal. So you just need to click on that appeal button and submit your appeal and you can just do the same from this page. For example, you are having any one policy violation into food and product safety issues and then you redirect to the same page called performance notification. So from there, you can just submit your appeal and get the approval for that category. And I'm again saying that before submitting your appeal for approval, you first need to go on that policy page and you first need to identify and analyze like what was the reason behind that policy violation or that performance notice that you have got from Amazon. So once you read that policy page, and you are completely aware about your mistake so only after that you will be able to write a good appeal that will be in detail regarding that issue so more good the wording of your appeal will be the more high chances for you will be there to get the approval to sell in that particular category so right after watching this video, go there, read about your policy violation in your category and submit that appeal. So if everything will be good in that appeal, so you will get your account held back and you will be able to continue your selling in that particular category. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.